What's going on, Vault Dwellers? Draco Invictus here with another Fallout 76 video. Today we are talking about Inside the Vault. It is a new article that will be regularly released from Bethesda talking about upcoming patches and bug fixes and features and all that good stuff. And this is the first one dated November 27th, 2018. And it opens with a huge thanks to all of you who've been playing Fallout 76 and embarking on this journey with us. Millions of you are playing the game and playing it a lot. We love hearing your stories, sharing your photos, and fighting alongside you in the quest to rebuild Appalachia. As we continue to read your feedback and watch your streams, we understand that there's also a number of frustrating issues. We want you to know that we're committed to rolling out fixes and features on a regular basis and implementing changes based on your feedback. We also continue to work on an incredible list of updates for the game, including new quests and events, new vaults opening, a faction-based PvP system, and much more. We're confident with your support, we can make Fallout 76 an incredible experience for years to come. Going forward, we'll also be posting Inside the Vault articles like this one on a regular basis to keep you updated about what we're working on. So our next update comes out on December 4th, which is about a week from when I'm filming this video. Next week's update will bring an increase to the stash limit as well as a variety of performance and stability improvements, balance changes, and multiple bug fixes to the game. We'll have full patch notes available later this week ahead of Tuesday's update. Some notable issues being addressed in this update include stash limit increased. We know many of you have been asking for an adjustment to the stash storage limit, and we're happy to share that we're increasing it from 400 to 600. While this is somewhat conservative, we plan to increase the storage cap further once we verify that this change will not negatively impact the stability of the game. Some of you are hoping for tens of thousands of weight in the stash. I don't see that happening, but here's hoping. All right. Here's a problem that I have been frustrated with lately, killing bosses like Scorch Beasts. Players should now correctly receive two to three items after taking down a boss, depending on the creature's difficulty and level. I didn't even get a Scorch thumbnail for God's sakes. Cryolator effects. Players hit with the Cryolator are now chilled, frosted, or frozen, depending on how many times they are hit. The duration of movement speed reductions applied to these effects have been decreased from two hours to 30 seconds. I had no idea it was two hours. Holy hell. Respawning when over encumbered. We've resolved an issue affecting players who die while over encumbered that only allowed them to respawn at Vault 76. Now over encumbered players will be able to respawn at the nearest discovered map marker. It's about damn time. Stuck in power armor. We've addressed an issue in this patch that could cause players to become stuck inside power armor. We're also aware that there are some additional cases where this can occur and are actively investigating them. So that is the, the big things coming out of the update that we will be receiving on December 4th. Let's look ahead to what they're doing on December 11th. The next update after December 4th is currently planned for the following week. Like previous patches, it will include a variety of bug fixes, but we're also planning to bring some more notable changes and features to the game. PC additions, a push to talk setting for voice chat, 21 by nine resolution support, and a field of view setting are all being implemented on PC with this update. Congratulations, PC players. You were well heard and it's being addressed. Special respec. I like this one. After level 50, you'll be able to choose between a new perk card or moving a special point you had previously allocated. In an online multiplayer game, I don't think that you should be able to do a clean respec, wipe, pick all new cards and all that stuff. But this is a compromise. You can get a new card or a new point for a card, or you can move a special point. I like that. Camp placement at login. This seems to be a problem that a lot of people have with understanding how the camp gets packed and all and unpacked and where's my camp? I've jumped three servers and I still can't find it. Your camp will no longer be automatically blueprinted and stored if someone is occupying your location when you log into a server. Instead, you will receive a notification that your space is occupied. If you decide to find a new home for your camp on that server, it'll be free to do so. 
However, if you don't attempt to place shit down your camp, you'll be able to switch to a new server where that spot is vacant and your camp will be fully assembled and waiting for you. The only time I can see where that might be a problem is where you're on a team of four people and you're like, man, I got onto the server and my camp isn't deployed, someone else is there, I'm gonna move to this new server. And then you move to that new server and your buddy has his spot occupied. There's going to have to be a compromise there somewhere, but at least they're giving us this additional notification that your spot's taken and giving us a workaround of sorts. I like that. But here's one of the big ones. Bulldozer. This is a new camp feature that will allow you to remove small trees, rocks, and other obstructions so it's easier to create and place your camp when and where you want it. You can also use the bulldozer to clear these items from the surrounding area to make your camp feel more like home. And there you go, guys. They say, we know the size of our previous patch on November 19th was very large, and downloading it was a frustrating experience for many of you, especially those who primarily play Fallout 76 on consoles. We hear you, and we're working to reduce our patch sizes going forward so that you can get back in the game as soon as possible on patch days. That is going to wrap it up for the Inside the Vault, guys. I will put a link to the Inside the Vault down in the description below. But more importantly, I want to hear from you. What do you think of this Inside the Vault? Do you like the fact that they're telling us maybe weeks ahead of time, hey, this is a new feature that's going to be coming out? Does that excite you? Or would you rather just go, hey, what's new here today? You know, would you rather have the surprise or would you like to know ahead of time? Let me know. Is the stash limit still too small? I know all of you are going to say yes, but you know what? Everyone has a different number. I think that we're going to land somewhere around a thousand. I think that a thousand weight is going to be where it's at. Not that that's what I want, but I'm being a realist here. So I think 800 to a thousand is going to be the number. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully it's 10,000 or like Mark Jackson wants 40,000. I don't see 40,000 coming, Mark, but brother, I hope you're right and I'm wrong. So I want to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section. Please keep them civil. Don't make me hide comments and stuff like that. I hate doing crap like that. So keep it civil, share your thoughts, be open-minded to other people's opinions as well. And until next time, Vault Dwellers, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Drake One Victor saying this has been the greatest day of my life. See ya.